Okay, welcome No DQ Galaxy. We are the ladies of No DQ, Aaron and myself. And we have some special guests with us today. We have Virtue and good old JM Jeff Meacham joining us. Cindy's work schedule was pretty bad this week, so she will not be joining us. Um, three of us are headed to SummerSlam this weekend. And not Jeff, <laughs> sorry. Um, what's everybody's excitement level? Well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be there. So, I've, you know, if it was just watching it on the network, I'd probably be like, eh. But, you know, we'll get the No DQ meetup. So I think it'll make it pretty cool. Um, no Roman Reigns on this card officially as of right now. And I'm a little bit bummed based on what the rumor was earlier in the week. But we'll see what happens. Mm-hmm. Um, I agree with Virtue. If I wasn't going to be there, I'd be significantly less excited for this card. But since I'm going to be there... I love Toronto. I know I'm excited. I know it's going to be a good time. So significantly yeah. more excited. Jeff? Same with me. See, I, I had a whole solo show planned out doing predictions, and I was looking over the card. It's like some of these matches I would actually pay to go see, like Chris versus Charlotte or, you know, Becky versus Natalia. But overall, the card's kind of weak. So I'm mm-hmm. glad you guys get to go see it live. I'm glad I'll get to be there in spirit and participate from here and, Hopefully the next meetup will be uh, closer to home. <laughs> right. Farther away for all of us, though. That yeah, is true. I know. That's the thing. All right, guys. Well, I agree with Aaron and Virtue and Jeff. So it's kind of a weak card, but I am excited because I'm going to be there. Um, and we're just going to go ahead and jump in now. So we will start with the Cruiserweight Championship because that's where we always start. Um, we have Drew Gulak as the champion versus Oni Lorcan. And I'm just going to start this one off. I haven't been watching 205 as usual. So that means I go with the champion. Erin? Yeah. Normally we rely on Cindy here because <laughs> neither of us watch, but she's not here. So, um, yeah, Gulak. I don't know why they take it off him. So champion. All right. Virtue? Okay. So cheap plug for a debate video I just recently did about 205 Live. If you haven't checked that out on the channel, go watch that. And I actually sing Drew Gulak's praises in that video. So I really do like him, even though I don't follow 205 Live much. So he's going to retain just by that happenstance. Jeff. Right. Yeah, I, I, I've i been watching here and there. I've been trying to keep track of 205 Live because I knew that I would be doing videos with somebody at some point that watches the show besides me. So I got to go with Gulak. He's got the momentum. Oni Lorcan has, you know, the... The, uh, the fan support behind him more than Gulak, but people seem to like Gulak in spite of himself. So I'm going to stick with the champion retaining. All right. Um, moving on, we have Goldberg versus Dolph Ziggler. And this match, we have a um, tiebreaker question, which is how long the match is going to go. So everybody can give their thoughts on that. And Aaron could start us off on this one. Um, Goldberg's going to win. Ziggler's literally there just to get squashed. Honestly, I hope Matt Riddle comes out. He's been talking all this crap about Goldberg. I hope he comes out and, I don't know, punches Goldberg in the face and we get something going there. I think this match is going to go 37 seconds. Wow, Spear, okay. spear, jackhammer, <laughs> done. Down to the second. Yes. All right. 37. Virtue, what about you? So this is obviously designed for Goldberg to get his credibility back after that complete debacle in Saudi Arabia against The Undertaker. So with that said, they, they're putting him against Ziggler. That's why Ziggler's been name-dropping him for the last few weeks. Because Ziggler can bump. He can jump up for the jackhammer. There's not going to be any dead weight. Now the question is, Goldberg's going to win, but the question is, how long is this match going to take? 37 seconds sounds really good, but I th- I just have this <laughs> gut feeling that Ziggler's going to duck a little bit as soon as that bell rings. So I'm going to go two minutes and 30 seconds. Two minutes and 30 seconds because of just some Ziggler uh, cat and mouse type thing, you know? Okay. Jeff? That's a good point. I'm going to go with Goldberg, obviously, like we talked about. This is his redemption match after the, the Saudi Arabia fiasco. And uh, I'm going to give it... Three and a half minutes. Ooh. That's a long one for Goldberg. It <laughs> is, but you know what? I think I think if anybody can pull it off, it'd be Dolph Ziggler. Okay. 
I actually didn't pick my time yet, and I just wrote one down randomly. So we're going to go two minutes and eight seconds, and Goldberg for all the reasons that everybody else has said. <laughs> so yeah. keeping it simple. Yeah. Is this like the price is right if you go over, you're not close, or is it just the closest Ooh. regardless? You know what I mean? Ask the boss man, Caitlin. We'll ask later. <laughs> So we'll we're not scrambling out. around. Who's closer when we're there, you know? Right, exactly. Very okay. true. Because okay. you know, someone's going to have that stopwatch out. Time I think <laughs> on the, I did watch bits and pieces of their video, and they were discussing that issue about if it was Price is Right or not or whatever. But um, I don't remember the answer. So we will have to find that out for you guys. Depending um, on the NDQ era, we've done Price is Right, and we haven't done it. So it depends what era of NDQ you ask. <laughs> right? <laughs> All right. Moving on. We're going to do... The Fiend, Bray Wyatt, versus regular Finn Balor, as far as we're aware. Um, Virtue, what are your thoughts on this one? I think it's definitely go going to be regular Finn Balor, because wouldn't they promote the demon? And I think they're going to want to do that at a later date. So Bray Wyatt, The Fiend, easily here. I mean, it's not going to be a squash match. You know, Finn Balor will, will stretch the match out. I keep hearing rumors that he's taking some time off, so I just wonder if they're doing it this way with the regular Balor, make you know make it a credible match for Balor, but ultimately Bray beats him, and then when Finn comes back after his hiatus, if he does go on one, boom, there you go, Demon versus Fiend at some point down the road. Yeah. Uh, Jeff. Yeah, I think Demon versus Fiend is a. If, if it's done right, a media quality match. So the best way to do this would have be to have the Fiend win Sunday and write uh, Balor off into the sunset and then have him come back later as the Demon. So And plus, it, it's Bray's first match officially as the Fiend. So you can't have him, yeah. in theory, you can't have him lose his first outing. So yep. I, I, I got to stick with my guns here and say that the Fiend's going <laughs> to win. The question for me is that Will he wrestle in that mask? It seems like he can't really see very well in that mask, or at least wrestle very well in that mask. So I'm curious if he'll have the fiend be the fiend, or he'll, or he'll somehow merge the personalities to wrestle. Hmm, that's interesting. I hadn't thought about that, and I hope he keeps it on though. Yeah, I just too. think that would take away from the overall image that they've been building up. Also, right, exactly. um, I'm really excited to see his entrance. I want to see what yes. they do with yeah. that. So far, he's only been appearing in the ring after the blackout. So um, I also picked Bray Wyatt. I don't think it makes sense to go any other way at the moment. Aaron? Yeah, I also picked Wyatt. They've been building him up so much. It makes absolutely no sense with everything they've been doing for Wyatt to lose. So definitely Wyatt's going to beat Balor. This is one of the things I'm jealous you guys are going to see the entrance lot. That's going to be cool. Yeah. It would actually be cool, though, if we did get Demon Balor and got to see that entrance because that's definitely a very cool entrance, too. Especially at SummerSlam. Demon Balor at SummerSlam is always good. Yeah, but I don't think we're getting the demons, so. Yeah. Yeah. Well, our next match is going to be Kevin Owens versus Shane McMahon. And if Kevin Owens loses, he has to quit and leave WWE. Um, I went back and forth on this one because with Shane McMahon, you never can tell. Like, they always might put a McMahon over so um but even still I think it's gonna go to Kevin Owens um I think he needs to win this one so I'm going with that Aaron I'm so tired of KO versus Shane I <laughs> tweeted the other day I seriously any single pay-per-view that me and Caitlin are physically at we have some sort of version of KO versus Shane like why <laughs> does this keep happening isn't this like the second time in maybe two years that KO has basically had like an I quit match or I'm cause didn't he get fired from SmackDown and end up on raw not that long ago, or was it vice versa? I don't remember. Anyways, I think KO is going to win. I think people are finally, they're tired of Shane. I think WWE has realized they're kind of tired of Shane. We haven't seen him on TV as much lately. So I think KO is going to win for the people. So, all right. Bird you. Oh man, this is tough because it's hard. Like, I don't want to pick against Shane just because I could see the McMahon, you know, him finding a way to see if they paint themselves into the corner and KO has to leave. How do they bring him back? Right. So that's why it's hard to pick Shane in this instance. But I don't know, man. Sami Zayn is lurking. Right. He's been getting jobbed out. Remember mm -hmm. that match they had, Jeff, uh, a year or so ago, maybe longer. Wasn't it a hell in a cell? But 
KO we was were the, there. KO was yeah, the, right. um, who was the baby? Shane was the baby face then. He was yeah. the baby, and he took so, a dive, and Sammy pulled Kevin And out Sammy turned weird. heel and pulled him. I, I'm going to say Shane is going to win. Shane is going to win, and maybe something like because of Sami Zayn, and they'll have to figure out how they bring Owens back down the road. Okay. That's a storyline, right? Owens is yeah. gone. Owens is gone. Oh, my gosh. I think they're going to go that route, and I think Shane's going to pull it off with shenanigans. Right. I hope not. <laughs> I actually, 100% agree with Virtue. I was, I was leaning towards it anyway, and he, he, he kind of, he kind of stayed in my case for me. Um, there's no, there's no storyline driving with Shane losing because he's still going to be there. He's still going to be lurking. He's still going to be causing problems for everybody. He's still going to be a pain in everybody's ass. If Shane wins and KL has to leave. Then we've got story. Then we've got meat to grab onto. But do they do story often? No. (laughs) They're they're attempting to look at this whole Roman Reigns thing. You know what I mean? Right. Yeah. Maybe, 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 maybe we find out that he was behind the Roman Reigns stuff and they bring it back to Roman get his revenge. Who knows? It it could be a number of things. They, They have to find a way to keep it fresh and having Shane lose and still be on TV is not fresh at this point. It would just be interesting as to how they do that because I would say KO is arguably one of the hottest people on WWE TV right now. Right. Because So you take him off, I don't know how that would work. Well, well think maybe. about this. If he loses and he comes in through the crowd on SmackDown and that's they start true. doing that type and then he's getting taken away in cuffs. I mean, there's a lot of TV yeah, potential there. Yeah, that's true. Maybe he loses here and then he starts returning around the time of the SmackDown to Fox move. And then, and then, and then the payoff is on Fox premiere. Yeah. Yep. Which Aaron, I hope we be at, <laughs> in LA in October. So hopefully we'll get something good out of Kevin Owens on October 4th. Well, there you go. All right. Moving on to the United States championship. We've got you AJ Styles. Killer? What? Excuse me. Oh, did you I thought I did. did. Yeah. You yeah. Said I, went, I went first. Yeah. Oh, okay. Sorry. Go ahead. And then after you guys talked, I regretted my choice. But <laughs> I, I got to stick with it, though. We can't always be the same, right? That's, That's right. right. That's got to right. change it up for the viewers a little bit. Um, so we've got AJ Styles, champion, versus Ricochet. Um, Aaron, you can go ahead and start on this one. Um, I'm going to pick AJ. I, they've been flip-flopping the U.S. title too much. I think AJ is the perfect person to bring some prestige back to the um, U.S. title. Uh, I also think since they just gave the club the uh, tag titles, it makes more sense to keep gold on all of them, make them like a really yeah. tough faction. I really, really hope we eventually, I'm hoping this is leading to the, like the OC versus Undisputed Era. How awesome would that be? That would be like something if they did like NXT versus like uh, WWE at Survivor Ooh. Series. How cool would that be? That would be cool. So Good point. I think AJ is definitely going to win. I'll okay. let Jeff go next. I am going to agree with AJ retaining. I see I've made the mistake lately of watching Impact Plus and watching AJ when he was still starting to come into his own in 2002 and 2003 and really cooking with gas. And he's still that good. That's the scary part. He's still amazing. So it's, it's you know, you, you know, you don't, you don't bet against certain guys. And AJ is a hot commodity right now. And he's, he's a credible U.S. champion. Yeah, he's a heel and heels cheat to win. But you know what? He's part of the OC now. He's he's back with Gallows Anderson. They all they've all got gold. Let him keep the gold and go forward with it. We'll see what happens down the road. And I take AJ too because besides the twenty four seven title, no other title has been hot potatoed more than the U.S. Championship. And I know Ricochet already had it, but like, could you imagine if they let him win it back? There goes all the heat that the OC just built up. Right. So AJ has to retain. Maybe. Um, Ricochet wins the match somehow, disqualification or something like that. I don't know if there was any stipulations or not, but then AJ can, can retain. So right. that's my pick. And I'm going to agree with everybody. I think AJ retains. I think with the, the new club coming out that they've got to keep that hot. So that's my pick. I'm going to go with everybody else. And we are going to go to Charlotte Flair. Versus Trish Stratus, which I thought was a difficult match to call. Virtue, you're going to start on this one. Jeff, do you? This is your baby right here. Do you want to go <laughs> last or first? Uh, I will go last. How about okay. that? Okay. Um, everybody knows I'm a big Charlotte. I'm going to say the word Mark. Right? Maybe it's because she's Ric Flair's daughter. I don't know. I loved when Flair 
was with her during that first run she had on the main roster, and he always danced. Flair's great. Charlotte's great. I know that she's forced, like she's the female Roman Reigns. But it's in Toronto. Trish is going to get a pop. But what good does it do at this point? when Tri- Unless Trish is going to come back and have a run, which we know she's not, for her to go over, yes, it's feel good in Toronto. And I'm interested on Jeff's take here. But because I'm probably not getting a Roman Reigns match and I'm going to be there, I got to go with the next best thing. I am picking Charlotte Flair over Trish in Toronto. Aaron? I am also going to pick Charlotte. I, like you said, what is the point of Trish winning? She's not going to be there. It makes way more sense for Charlotte to win. And can you imagine the heat she's going to get when she pins Trish? Like, that's just going to catapult her to mega heel if she already wasn't. Like, come on. So I think Charlotte's going to beat her. Caitlin? Yeah, I I went back and forth because I did. This was one of the clips that I did watch from the, the other video. And they kind of had me thinking for a minute about perhaps uh, there being See, some sort of. That's why I don't that's watch until after. Watch. I don't watch until after. I don't want to yeah. be swayed. I like to make sure I didn't miss any matches and the tiebreaker question and stuff, but um, they kind of had some interesting theories about Trish winning, but I just, I don't see that happening. I can't see the point of that, like you guys are saying. So I also went with Charlotte, and we'll see if Jeff agrees with us. The minute I'm going to take a break Charlotte... while he talks here. <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. get comfortable. <laughs> Kick back, kids. All right. <laughs> So the minute that Charlotte pinned Natalia at NXT TakeOver five years ago, Coach. I've been thinking about this match. We're going back. I've, I've, been, I've been like salivating, like waiting for Trish to make this comeback. And then when she came back for Evolution, I was like, all right, it's a matter of when now. It's going to happen. Because these two are my two favorite all-time female WWE superstars. And I, I you know, I, I got to meet Trish when she was still, you know, in her prime and she was still – doing her thing, and then I've got to see Charlotte grow and develop over the last five years or so, and it's going to be something where Trish got her moment. We talked about the moment that Trish would get in Toronto if she wins. She got her moment in Toronto when she defeated Lita to regain the women's title for the seventh time at Unforgiven back in 2006. So she's had her big Toronto swan song. So why not give the rub to the person they're going to go with for the next five to ten years. She's still yeah. young. She's still fresh. Yeah, people are sick of her. She's the female Roman Reigns. But she is the present and the future of the women's division. And she can be the one that gets catapulted toward Becky. I know we've seen Becky and Charlotte a hundred times. But if Becky retains at SummerSlam and Charlotte, when Charlotte beats Trish, then we've got to build toward Survivor Series. Yeah. So I'm going with Charlotte to win. It's going to be, it 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 may be the female match of the night. I dare say it may be the match of the night if it goes well enough. Okay. Mm. Cool. All right. Well, we're all we're in agreement four. on that. Yeah. Um, we're going to stick with the ladies here and go to the SmackDown Women's Championship. So we've got Bailey as the champion versus Ember Moon. Um. Who wants to go first on this one? How about you? Oh, well, they both well, do. They can Jeff did the, Actually, Jeff, Jeff, <laughs> Jeff was the one I had written down for this, too. So That's fine. G- good thinking. <laughs> All right. So, unfortunately for both of them, they're on the same card as Becky, Natalia, and Trish versus Charlotte. It's just it's as simple as that. This match has a little bit of build. It's got a little bit of Ember being a little more aggressive and Bailey being more aggressive and it's got a slight little program to it, but it's not the most important female match on the card. It's, kind of, it's almost a throwaway, even though it is for a title. So yeah. I'm going to stick with Bailey retaining, but it's going to be a darn good match. I think. Okay. Um, I'm also going to say Bailey retains and I do hope that we finally get some sort of answer with Sasha. What's going on with her. Maybe she'll appear and start Bailey's next feud. I think that would be really fun. Um, so we'll have to see if that happens. But yeah, Bailey retains. Aaron? That would piss Greg off so much if Sasha appeared. She would be so. Oh, because because he's not there. I would love there, if, exactly. I would love if Sasha came. But honestly, like I think Sasha is needed way more on Raw than on SmackDown. Like 
there's nobody in the raw women's division. To they just go where they want anyway. Though. True story. But I mean, <laughs> is the brand split actually ending? They, they're I don't know. Rumor, so who knows? But I also think Bailey is going to win. The build for this was kind of weird. Like one moment, you know, Ember Moon is like giving Bailey. Why am I drawing a blank? The eclipse drawing a blank there. And then Bailey's doing the Bailey to belly in the next minute. She's like trying to fight someone off of Natty off of her to help her out. I don't know. It was really weird, but I think Bailey's going to win. Heard you. These are the kind I've been picking these title matches against the grain usually. And I've been getting them right. The last couple <laughs> shows, mostly around the U S title. So I'm going to do the same thing here. I just have a gut feeling that Ember moon is going to win the championship. So I, I'm just going to say Ember, new champ. You might be right. I, this was one, another one that it took me a while to choose. It was one of my last ones to pick because I thought it could be Ember Moon, but we'll have to see. Um, so sticking with the last ladies match, um, we've got Becky Lynch as champion versus Natalia in a submission match. And I will start on this one because I love Natty. Um, <laughs> you going to wear your Natty shirt? I'm considering it. I might okay. wear my Natalia shirt to SummerSlam. We'll have to see. But um, <sighs> Becky's going to win. Yeah. <laughs> I just wanted to have my moment saying I like Natty. All right. <laughs> Moving on. Aaron, what do you think? I also think Becky's going to win. I just don't see Natty beating Becky. I just don't see it. She doesn't seem like a credible foe to me. She wasn't built up enough to be able to beat Becky. You can't do like two weeks worth of yeah. build up and then be like, yeah, I'm going to beat the man. What I hope it's a submission match. I want Shayna Baszler to come out at the end. The submission Ooh. magician, how perfect would that be if she came out and then she was Becky's next foe? That is a believable opponent to me for Becky Lynch. Okay. So. I don't Sounds know like next. a good idea. Virtue. All right. I'm not going to say Becky's going to win, but I'm going to say she's going to retain because this, I mean, what better moment in a big event like this for Ronda Rousey to show up and end this match in a no contest, putting her arm bar on yeah, both of them even though, and claiming I am still around, my time is done, I'm back. I mean, she's not having kids, right? Where are the reports, right? Yeah. So I don't know if that's going to happen. I'm just elaborating on it, but Becky's going to retain. <laughs> Jeff. All right. Yeah. It won't be a straight up fault. There'll be some sort of shenanigans. Maybe Ronda's there. Maybe Shayna's there. Maybe somebody will get involved. But I, Becky will definitely retain the title. They're not gonna. They're not gonna totally kill her momentum after losing the SmackDown title in such a shady way a few months ago. They're gonna have her retain the Raw title probably for a few months longer. I got all the Canadians right. losing so far. <laughs> <laughs> I think Let's I do see. too. <laughs> um. All right, moving into the final two matches that are announced anyway. We currently yeah. have no Intercontinental you, match. You know no we're going to get a couple Roman, more matches before no this No Daniel is over. Bryan. So we'll have to see. But um, for now, we've got Kofi Kingston versus Randy Orton. And I'm going to go last on this one. So whoever oh, okay. wants to jump in for first. I have no great wisdom or anything. I'm just still deciding. <laughs> I know. I haven't picked this one yet either. I'll go first. I don't care. Uh, all right. Um, I want to pick Orton. I think this is a stupid pick, but something is just telling me to pick Orton. I'm tired of Kofi. I don't want to see Kofi anymore. So I'm going to pick Orton. I could see maybe we end up with like Orton versus Roman Reigns. Because you're going to uh, heal. Obviously, when it goes to Fox, they're going to want have Roman to have something with the title so you need to have the title on a heel and Orton does still draw Orton draws big still he's still a big name so if they're not going to go with Lesnar maybe we could see Orton versus Roman Reigns going into Fox so I'm going to pick Orton I'm probably wrong but I'm going to pick what I want to see right. so who wants to go next go alright I'll go go ahead Bertrand I, I absolutely don't want to see Kofi champion any longer. I, I was a proponent, and I took heat from this in the comments on past videos on why he was lucky to get that spot because of one injury by Mustafa Ali and the fact that he's had it, and now he never loses. Kofi never loses. Why? Because it's the New Day gimmick. It's not Kofi that's the WWE champion. In Vince McMahon's eyes, it's his baby, the New Day gimmick. So for all those reasons on why I don't want Kofi as the champion... I'm picking him to retain. 
Because <laughs> that's just, it's, he's going to have that longer, maybe all the way into SmackDown on Fox. Probably. I probably so, picked wrong, but. Yeah, I, I like that. I wouldn't be mad if I was wrong, but I'm, I'm going to say Kofi's going to retain. There are no wrong picks there and only poor booking by WWE. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's been poorly booked here for a while. It's needed to come off Kofi for a while, so. Yes. And <laughs> that's why I'm going to agree with the general consensus right now. It, um. They went with Kofi after Mania. It's worked, and it hasn't worked. People have been liking Kofi, but people are also like, oh, I'm so sick of New Day. I'm so sick of it already. Blah, blah, blah. He's wearing pancakes in the title belt. It looks stupid. So I'm, I'm hearing that all the time. So I'm going to go with Orton regaining the championship and going into the SmackDown Fox changeover as the champion. Now, Caitlin, what are yeah. you going to do? <laughs> Well, this is one of the ones I left blank. I'm still thinking up until the last second here because I think for both, like, the reasons everyone has said it could go in either direction, and they were pretty much the same things I was thinking. (sighs) What am I going to do here? There's I haven't picked many title changes. That was another reason I picked Orton, because I hadn't picked a title change yet. Yeah, same here. (sighs) Tell you what. I'm going to also go with Randy Orton. I was going to say flip a coin. <laughs> I think that one of the two main matches is going to change. So I'm going to, well, I'm not going to spoil my next one. So I'll just shut up. Right. So did everybody it. besides me just pick Randy Orton? Did you pick Randy, Jeff? I did. Wow. <laughs> but Kofi doesn't lose these days. so Exactly. I- so we're all probably wrong. <laughs> We'll see. Um, okay, so going that leaves us with the universal title. So we have Brock Lesnar as the champion versus Seth Rollins. Um, and I'll just start off because to carry on my thought, which I sort of didn't finish, I picked Seth Rollins to win. Um, and so I fig- figure if I pick both of the titles to change, one of them will be right at least. But... Um, <laughs> I had a hard time with this one because I feel like if if you went to the trouble to give Brock money in the bank and have him take the title back, why are we going back to Seth again? But I just had this feeling and I decided to go with Seth anyway, even though I really don't think it makes sense with the money in the bank. So I might be screwing my points up, but so be it. Virtue? All right. So, so you're picking Brock to retain. No. No, Gosh. I picked Seth, but I okay. didn't agree with my choice, really. So let's think about this. Brock, <laughs> no Brock did not. Whatsoever. Brock lost the title to Seth in the opener at WrestleMania. He didn't get that main event spot because they did the Becky, Charlotte, and Ronda thing. Okay. I think this whole thing was done to put this match to go on last in the main event, right? Because Vince McMahon probably wanted it to happen at Mania, but they had to put the women because they, you know, Ronda Rousey, I mean, it was history. So with that said, I could make a case. I mean, I could see Caitlin, Seth winning it back because that's what he did. He beat Brock in the opener at Mania, right? And they're just replaying it again. Mm-hmm. But then I'm thinking it's Brock Lesnar. And there's just no way yeah. that Seth Rollins, who's got some heat right now um, in terms of his personal life, right? I mean, they even scrapped the Becky on screen angle for now. So I think that Brock is going to retain. I don't know how. I'm sure Seth will give it a good effort, and there'll be a lot of oohs and ahs, but at the end, there will be people, I hate Brock, boo! And that's why. And that's why he's going to retain for that heat. Okay. Aaron? <sighs> uh, this was, yeah, I thought this was hard, too. Um, yeah, I also picked Rollins. Probably a stupid pick, but... Did it anyways. I just think WWE made, they took so much time the last two weeks weeks to like make Rollins, like try to get as much sympathy as possible for him. Yeah. Why did they, I mean, I guess they could just do it and then squash him anyways, but I just think they spent so much time trying to get the people behind him, even though it didn't totally work that I don't know why they do that unless they plan on giving it back to him. I still think that um, Lesnar's going to end up on SmackDown. So I, think he's going to lose the title and I'll go back to Rollins and then he'll end up on SmackDown somehow. I also think this will be 
a lot different of a match than we got at WrestleMania. I think we'll actually get more like one that we saw with like AJ and Brock Lesnar and Finn Balor and Brock Lesnar and like Daniel Bryan and Brock Lesnar. So I'm excited for this match because that is kind of what I assumed we were going to get at WrestleMania and said we just got low blow, low blow. Right. Curb stomp. And so um, I'm going to go with Rollins and hope that uh, he wins. <laughs> Jeff, before Jeff. you make before you make your pick. We all know how much money Brock Lesnar makes. That's all I'm going to tell you. Now, you, now you go ahead and make. <laughs> now you go ahead and make the pick. Trust me, trust me. We all know exactly how much money Brock is making for Sunday, man. We, there ain't no doubt about that for a minute. But um, I'm gonna make a bold prediction and say that Brock retains the title. I don't know mm-hmm. why. I just I got a feeling in my in, in my gut of guts that they're gonna keep the title on him. And maybe they'll have him do something with, um, God forbid, Roman Reigns again. You know, who knows? I think we're going to get Braun and Brock again. I do. Oh. Braun and Brock would be good on Raw, too. And, and you know, hopefully they give Braun the definitive, you know, run, maybe. Maybe this time. Who knows? They really got to start building Braun back up then. They do because he's, he's so he's far down. He completely cooled off. Perfect work. Thank you. I was trying to think of what to say. You, you took it right out of my mouth. Thank you. Yeah, he's totally cooled off the last few months. So if they're going to build toward that, maybe it's Survivor Series. They got to start building like now. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, that is our current SummerSlam card of what's been announced. So we will go ahead and wrap up with our plugs and whatnot. Um, I am nodq.com slash Caitlin for my Twitter. Uh, see everyone who's going to be at the NoDQ meetup in Toronto. So excited about that. Erin. Uh, mm-hmm. I am a no DQ slash Aaron for Twitter. I'll be at the meetup. Can't wait to see everybody. Virtue. Follow me on Twitter at no DQ underscore virtue. Go over to no DQ.com slash virtue. Also, Caitlin, no DQ.com slash shirts. Oh, that's right. Aaron, Aaron has a bunch of no DQ shirts and Noah Simple Man <laughs> shirts and Troll Slayer Virtue shirts. So, yeah, check that out as well. But, yeah, Toronto SummerSlam, it's going to be a fun time. Thank you for allowing me on this video, by the way, with the technical issues that we had over the last 24 hours. <laughs> right. Jeff, I will yeah, pass it on to you. And I, and I deserve to be on the Ladies of No DQ Predictions video because Virtue's a diva. There, I said it. <laughs> there, I said it. I'm there you go. Me. Diva's champion. <laughs> <laughs> well, as a former champion, I guess I'm a diva too, so that works. Um, okay, so nodq.com slash Jeff, J E F F, for my Twitter, um, underscore Jeff Meacham for my Instagram, youtube.com slash Jeff Meacham, one word, uh, for my channel, which you'll see in my nodq, uh, not nodq, my NXT TakeOver Toronto predictions. That'll be up, I think, um, what, what, on Thursday or Friday, whatever day I get it done. And then uh, Greg Cherry's YouTube, which I don't remember his YouTube address, but we'll be having Wrestling Rewind this week will be Steamboat Flare 2 from Clash of Champions. All right. All right, you guys. That is all for now. We will see you all next time.